Johnston and polls for today's primary election closed a little over two hours ago. A pair of Lincoln County Commissioner races will essentially be decided after today's election as incumbents in District 1 and 4 would face challenges within the Republican Party. And this evening, we will discuss the results and campaigns with each. We got 4% are in already, but uh, obviously it's a long night ahead of us, and we'll see how the votes come out. Yep, and uh, for folks that aren't aware with, with your background, Stuart, obviously decades-long experience of finance, all within greater Nebraska here between Alliance and North Platte. Yes, and, and I've worked in uh, the school business for a long time, but really my skills are in the accounting and finance area, but you know, I ho I'm hoping that people will see that uh, I have the ability to look at the budget, look at the finances of the county, as well as, you know, I really want to look at all the other uh, offices or departments that they have around here and help them succeed. Oh, the county is a very big entity, obviously, the 15th largest within our great state. Yeah, I know. When you look at Nebraska and their counties, Lincoln is very big, and so trying to understand the roads, the jail, the sheriff's department, we are a huge entity, and we want to make sure that we maintain that over the course of the years. Thank you so much, Stuart. Best of luck to you and all Thank candidates this much. evening. District 1 incumbent Joe Hubley standing by within the Lincoln County Courthouse as well with KNOP's Aaron Gemmel. Aaron. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tristan. I'm here with Mr. Joe Hughley. And now, Joe, just tell me just overall, just what would you do uh, if, you, if you are elected? Because I know it's pretty close right now. It's very close. Yeah, it's obviously way too close to a, a great opponent. I have a lot of respect for Stewart, but, you know, I guess what I would do is just what I've been doing over the past years, and, and that's to try to be as fiscally conservative as possible, uh, try to prioritize items, not try to spend more money than the county has and borrow, um, but be frugal, prioritize uh, probably law enforcement and public safety, uh, county roads, and uh, you know, th we all have our wants and needs, but I think that if we prioritize, continue to be fiscal conservatives, I think that's what we'll be happy if we can do that. Yes, and overall, we were talking earlier, you were talking about roads, you are talking about mm -hmm. law enforcement. Just really quick, you just uh, tell me about that. Sure, we've been down a number of deputies. We've been working hard to get that back up to a full force. We added two deputies uh, about a, two weeks ago out of the last academy. Uh, the Nebraska State Patrol has another class coming up, I believe, in August. Hopefully, we'll get two more graduates out of that, be back up to about full force and have those people trained in a couple of months and out on the road. So. That'll be a big help. Uh, you know, it's, uh, like I say, public safety is probably the main concern, working with emergency management and those people. So, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you so much, Joe. Hey, thank you. Have a great day. Thank, thank, you so, right. thank you so much. Kent and Victoria, back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks so much. We appreciate that, Tristan and Aaron. Now, we have a look at the latest election results from right here in North Platte and across the state. We want to say, too, that uh, last updated at about 952. We're not sure exactly how many precincts that was, but our last update was about 10 minutes ago. And keep in mind, we're also looking at the races that will be decided tonight. In one of our city council ward race, there are three candidates and only two will move on to the November general election. With that said, in Lincoln County Commissioners, in District 1, Joe Hughley, the incumbent, going up against Stuart Simpson. Joe Hughley is at about 55% with 350 votes, with Stuart Simpson at 45% and 284 votes. Now, the other commissioner race that will be decided tonight is in District 4. Incumbent Chris Bruns going up against Nancy Cypher Nelson. And right now, Chris Bruns with 70% or 311 votes to and Nancy's 30% or 134 votes. And there was really only one North Platte City Council race that was impacted by today's primary, and that is in Ward 4, where there are three people in the race. Two will advance to the November election. Mark Woods is the incumbent and is not running. Instead, Aaron Edwards, Nick McNew, and Tracy Martinez are looking to take his place. Nick McNew's at 45% with 160 votes, Aaron Edwards at 33% with 117, and Tracy Martinez at 22% and 79 votes. And the other local issue we are looking at is out in Sutherland, where voters are deciding whether or not Sutherland should be declared a sanctuary city for the unborn. So many are voting no, that's 54% with 42 votes, and some saying yes at 46% with 36 votes.